Hello everyone, today I am going to tell you how to create a park in Blender. So for that first of all let us delete the existing cube. Pressing Shift A, this shortcut adds the objects, then pressing plane. So here we've got a 30 meter large plane. Then we will raise it about 0.5 meters approximately. Then what we can do is press here, press tab to go in edit mode, right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. So three times we have subdivided it. Now what we can do is to create the petra options, pressing the proportional editing. Now selecting anyone, pressing G to move it, increasing the proportional editing yeah, like this. Then we can just create some petra options like this. We can also create them straight up or straight down, but I prefer to somewhat slant them to make it more natural. Okay, so currently these are looking like two zigzag lines, but we do not want them to look like this. So pressing G, doing like this. Okay, then we've got something here, pressing G. And we will keep it a bit down yes like this now these look much more natural so let us add some more depth to it now as you can see here we have a sort of plane Yes, and to grow or shrink the circle, we can simply use the G and the scroll bar. Currently, I am planning to do it like this. Remember not to keep them too high or too low like this, otherwise it will not recognize it as a plane and will transform it to another shape. So here we have got our plane. Now if we see it looks pretty good but we still have these zigzag lines so we can simply press G and make them high or low as per your wish. So here we have our plane now pressing tab. Now you can see that it has a lot of cuts and to contract that we can press right click and shade smooth now you can see that it is been shaded smooth but it still has some pretty bad ridges so again pressing tab then I'm going to settle these ridges down a bit like this to make it more natural now it looks much better we can also go in semi rendering mode or rendering mode to see yes it looks better but we still have a problem that it does not look that natural in this sort of light and to make it look more natural what we are going to do is G in the centermost point and then we are going to create this proportional editing as big as this and then somewhat raise it or somewhat sink it like this so now you can see that we have a much more natural looking surface now pressing G and Z to lift it up on C axis then I am going to go to materials click on new and color it brown so to see the color going to semi rendering mode so this looks okay now we'll go to object quick effects and then quick for we are going to set their density to heavy increase their view percent somewhat well the view percent totally depends on what you want your fur to look like and your processor of course because it cannot render that many 
so currently doing it on 8 this looks pretty good then I am increasing their length a bit now you can see that the fur looks somewhat like grass okay so now we can press here click on fur material in the materials tab and then select base color and select it to be green red or whatever you want your grass to be okay so now we've got nice good grass and a plane now we need to add the lighting effect so for that first of all we'll take this light Control C Control V G and then we are going to move it somewhat like so that it has spots like this Control V G and then somewhat okay so currently I cannot move it like this so what I'll do is press X to move it on X axis and then press G and Y to move it on Y axis now again G X so like this I can adjust the lightings and you can do the same with your lightings so here you can see that we've got nice little lightings I'm pressing GZ to raise them up then GX to bring it here somewhere so what we'll do is that we'll put the shadows on the other side so that only the green side of the grass is visible to us it looks pretty good getting it here G Z okay so it is light far away so G and then again doing it like this so it is far away so then pressing G and doing it like this and then here we have our light well not appropriate lighting but we can still count it in yes control c v g x g y so here we have got our good lighting now what we need is we need to have some trees in here and we can get those trees and how we now we need to have some trees in here but how to make the trees i'll teach in another tutorial but for this one the link is in the description below so you can go to that file and directly import the dot obj of the trees so here going in file import dot obj then i am going in documents then here i have this tree v9 final clicking here clicking import obj it is importing now it will take some time as it has a lot of vertices and that all so you can see that the file is quite big so it took some time then the tree is quite big so I'm pressing s to scale it down approximately this much then pressing G to bring it up here then I am pressing G to bring it up here okay so looks pretty good okay now we need to first of all adjust our camera's perspective we want the camera to be here then we want it to rotate pressing R to make it rotate mm -hmm. going to camera view then here I'll select camera after selecting camera clicking here going to view lock to 3d view okay so we can see that camera is not in a good position it is rotated so what we can do is pressing R to rotate it again and this time bringing it like this then what we can do is we can go to item and then we can set its rotation so Z rotation we can set it like this now 
our camera can see some things yes now it can see but we still aren't satisfied with that so we will also set its x rotation to somewhat like this yes now you must be confused i'm seeing x rotation and doing it on y because if i do it on y it rotates on the x axis and if i do it on x then it rotates on the y axis now to move it down we will press shift and scroll down then we are only going to take this much part and then we are only going to take this much part zooming in a bit yes now we got the tree so what we need to do with the tree is that we need to go to bark base color set it to brown and then leaves all three leaves we need to set it to green now to more now to add more realism you can set them to different shades of green and set some event to some other color for example yellow or something but i prefer green and dark shades of green because it will help it distinguish or we can also make it a fall season and then make them yellow and green so now you can see that our tree is ready now we we'll select it ctrl c v g so currently i'm adding only two trees so that my processor does not get a lot of harm and it does not take a lot of weight but now as you can see these are added so it all depends on your wish so it all depends on your wish if you want to add more or less now i am only adding two trees right now so it looks pretty good okay so if my processor can handle i can also add another tree g x and getting it in front g y getting it slightly left okay so here my other tree is also added so this is our part now to render it going here then selecting the folder currently doing it in new volume currently doing it in desktop then choosing its name park 2 okay then clicking accept then selecting its format yes i want it to be png color depth 16 compression 0 then what i need to do is i can also select the engine now if you have a really good processor you can do it on cycles with gpu or cpu support depends on which is better but it takes a lot of time even to render a few frames it takes days so that is why currently i am working with ev so it is has shift so now it has shifted to ev click on render render image <laughs> <laughs>